Hi guys, I received a comment on my channel from Acreblade. Uh, thanks for your question. It says, Hi Duncan, great channel. You're really good at teaching. Thank you. Uh, I would like to know what you use for your email notifications. I've tried to look around, but I've only found apps that you can read your mail in and link several mails to. I would like a small app that just sits in the tray and plays a sound. It would be cool if it could be customised. When I get an email on my Gmail, keep up the good work. Acre, thanks again for your question. Now, what do I use for my email notifications? I use Outlook, and you'll notice that um, sometimes in my videos it plays because I forget to close it. Um, but I have three inboxes, and I just basically want to be able to read them all in um, in one place. Now, I see what you mean. You don't want to do this. You, want, you don't want to be able to read your mail. You just want to be notified of when you have mail. Um, now, uh, I wouldn't suggest an Outlook for that. Uh, before, because, oh, I'll show you again. <laughs> um, because I've got three email accounts, I've got two that are linked with uh, something called Fastmail, which is uh, it's uh, just it, I used to use it because I was on dial-up and it basically had no images when you loaded the page. And uh, there was a cool thing about that is that you used to be able to well, you still can you can use it using IMAP. And IMAP's like a protocol you can use to retrieve your mail. Uh, not all services operate. Uh, not all services use it. Um, for example, my inbox here is my Hotmail, and that uses Webmail, that doesn't use IMAP, so if you have Hotmail you can't do this. But previously, um, I, I didn't want to be able to download, I didn't want it to automatically download to my computer because um, it, it would obviously slow my internet down because I had dial-up. So um, I know of a program that you can use because Gmail, um, I, I did a Google search and IMAP you can actually set up um, IMAP with Gmail, which is great because then you can use the program that I used to use. <laughs> so now what I, use, I used to use is free, you can download it, I'll provide the link in the description, it's called IMAP Notify. Uh, I'm just going to install it, show you it installed, IMAP Notify 1.0, next, next. Would you like to add IMAP on the menu and desktop? Yes, for the time being. Um, uh, I'll just create one on the desktop. <clears throat> Do you want to create a link in your startup folder so you can have it run at startup? No, uh, and finish. So I'm going to run it, and you'll notice that straight away it's asking you for an IMAP server. So I'm going to put in my my one. This is the one for my uh, Fastmail account. Username mobile phone two thousand four at Fastmail dot fm. Password does it show it? No, it doesn't. Good. And then I'm just going to test it. And you can see user has logged in successfully. Now um, go pre press next. Account name. The account name is what it's going to be called. So I'm going to just say this is my one that uh, captures all my YouTube um, things like comments and stuff on my profile. So I'm going to say finish. And you'll notice it's spinning around in the taskbar and it says you have no new email. So firstly, you can disable this uh, spinning that it does. Animate tray icon on new mail. Animate tray when checking new messages. So I turn them off because I, I don't like it when it does that. But you'll notice on this notification, you have display status window, no sound, play default sa sound, play sound file, which you can define, and use the Microsoft Agent. Now, Microsoft Agent, I think it's um, some, it's like a Merlin, I think it is, or something, and he pops up and he says, you have one new message, and then he speaks it or something. Um, something like that, I think, anyway. But um, I used to have it display the status window, so it just pop up and it say you have one new message in, and then it tells you what you've called your mailbox. So um, what you you say you want you want to have it highly customizable. Well, this is this is pretty much customizable here, and uh, and plays a sound. So you want to do play sound file or play default sound, and then you can define your sound. So um, this is highly configurable uh, for what you need. Acre Blade. Um, you can just run it in the taskbar. Uh, it's small like you want it, and it doesn't retrieve your email. So this is pretty much exactly what you want as long as you can get your settings for IMAP on Gmail. So this will work in Gmail, this won't work with Hotmail, um, probably won't work with Yahoo, I don't think they've got IMAP either. So it's purely for people who have, who have Gmail and can access it via IMAP. So um, thanks for watching my video, uh, please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos, and thanks again.